I'd like to show you what I was shooting for 300 blackout today. Uh, this right here. Let's see here. Come on, focus. There you go. 160 grain hollow points by Remington. Bucket of Freedom or Freedom Bucket. Show you what that looks like. Come on. Well, it's not focusing, but this is Barnes brass. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Let's see. Come on. Can you see that? It's Barnes brass. It's a great little bullet. He shot great groups. And here's the S and B's. The Cellular Ballet. Ballet. I don't know how you say that. How about S and B's? I like that better. 147 grain FMJs. That's what I shot today. Show you what that looks like. And this is actually a. Um, it says S and B 300 blackout on the the case. And this was a very nice shooting bullet, also. Very nice shooting bullet. So, I would buy those again in a heartbeat, as cheap as they were. I think they were $10.99 a box. You can probably get them cheaper online which I might have got them online, I don't remember. Um, and these are just the Remingtons, and then I've got my lipsticks and my gumdrops right here. My reloads, that's what I got left. This was, so 50 rounds and I got 20 left. I shot 30 rounds of uh, these today. And that's what I shot. Show you that again, so you can see. And I, I was actually using my Barnes brass for reloading seemed to work pretty good love it good stuff all right thought I'd show you what it looks like heading to Quail Creek uh, gun range and I don't know what town this is, but close to Fort Worth. So this is the drive up. Got about 100, 150 yards of gravel dirt road. come to a dead end. I'm going to roll my window down in case there's any shooting. That way you can get the full effect. Listening and all. Make a turn. Let's angle that down just a little bit. Yeah. Oh boy. I think looks like I'm not the only one that thought it was a beautiful day today. <laughs> It's that time of year, folks, and people are out there doing it, which I love. A lot of Second Amendment support going on today. But there you go. Y'all, have a good weekend.
Okay, just got back from the range. What a great day it was. You'll probably see some footage. Um, I'll roll in a little bit. It's not anything great just showing me shooting and I'll show some targets and do some pictures. Actually, I'll probably show you the pictures here and, and call that good. But uh, I use this from the Dollar Tree. It's just a you know, kid's sketch pad. It's real cheap paper. Real nice size blanks. What I do is I just throw little dots on them and they work great. Um, cheap. I'm a cheap cheapskate, which is why I'm reloading. But I'm going to pull out a couple targets I shot today and uh, show you what we got. All right. So what I'm real proud of is my 300 blackout. Um, that's what I reloaded today. Now this is not my reloads. This was me sighting in my target. Okay. First shot right here adjusted one time and shot the rest of the four right there now this is at 25 yards um, the range was really busy today so I knew I was gonna have to side in so I took a 25 yard lane and I didn't want to move around so everything you're gonna see is at 25 yards I was hoping to get out to 100 because my indoor range is 25 yards and I can do that anytime I want but whatever it was beautiful and I enjoyed it and that's what it's all about all right this was my second target after sighting in kind of windy today but I'll show you I'd say these groups are under an inch they're more like three quarters of an inch Man, that wind is blowing my papers everywhere. But that also is factory ammo. So I confirm that my gun is shooting good. Um, you know, it's shooting good. Uh, what was that ammo? That was um, sell your bellet or belay or whatever you call it. S and B. That's what I want to call it. 147 grain um, FMJs. I believe it's FMJs. I don't know. Anyways, that doesn't matter. It's just factory ammo to kind of warm things up. So then I got into doing my um, reloads. And not quite as impressive, but still, I'm, um, I'm happy with it. All right, here we go. Let me bring it back here. I want to hold it up close. But it, I can see what I'm doing here. So right there... That's with the red bullets that I had, and then I have the blue bullets here. Um, this group kind of opened up. I've got one way up here. I don't know what that was all about. But I started seeing that my groups weren't going to be that good, so I kind of loosely held my gun and changed my grip, and I think the barrel just hopped a little uh, off of the rubber uh, gun rest. And, um, and just to make sure that you know, my scope wasn't moving because I actually had a situation with my AR-10 today that scope moved a little. So um, I shot a couple of groups here. This is a five shot group. Um, one kind of off, everything else in the same hole. And this is a another five shot group. Um, so yeah, uh, this one, I don't know what happened. It should have been a little tighter because that one almost looks like some of my reloads over here. But I don't know. Maybe I got lazy again, but that's five bullets. It's actually one bullet. One bullet right there and four bullets right there. So that's pretty darn good. I, I'm happy with that all day long. Um, not much to say. Now, if you're shooting paper this might frustrate you a lot uh, because it's not going to look good but if you're shooting steel or plinking or cans or whatever I am real happy with reloading and getting these kind of groups uh, especially for what it costs you know it's plinking ammo and that's all it is now you can do some uh, really different kinds of you know levels of lead and get maybe some expanding rounds or, or you know some subsonics which I haven't done yet but uh, that's it okay